Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joe Bernstein here um, for Drop the Armor Wellness. It's Thanksgiving today. I just got back from an awesome yoga class that was focused on gratitude. And I just want to do a couple things. I want to express gratitude on this day, Thanksgiving, for my life and for everyone that's in my life and for what's happened in my business that I've created in the last year. Um, I just want to tell everyone I'm extremely grateful for all the love and support I have of all the amazing people in my life, my family, my wonderful girlfriend, my sisters, my parents, my extended family, my brothers-in-law, in-laws, I should say, all the wonderful men in my men's group who've brought so much community and meaning to my life. Um, I live a daily life of gratitude practice. It's something that's really helped me transform the way I think and feel and operate in the world. Um, but today I'm just feeling really grounded in it. And I want to make sure everyone knows how grateful I feel personally. Now, professionally, I really want to thank everybody who has liked my page, subscribed to my email updates, is in the Drop the Armor Nourishing Wellness Facebook community. I love you guys. I get to experience you and all you're doing to help yourself grow and live a healthier and more confident and more peaceful life every day. And it's very meaningful to me. I really want to thank my clients, those early clients who have been there for me in the first year, year and a half of my coaching practice, who've trusted me, believed in me, and believed enough in themselves to go through a very challenging but fruitful and beautiful process at times. Um, every single one of you, whether you've got the result you wanted or whether you got something completely different out of the experience, I want to thank you for being there with me and being the type of person that's willing to step up and challenge themselves to grow. I want to thank all the people who've encouraged me and supported me. A lot of men, especially in my men's group, who have helped me continue to create and develop this Drop the Armor wellness practice and business from even before I started it. I want to thank the coaches that I've had over the last couple of years and the coaches I'm working with now. Um, I want to thank everybody, all the other practitioners who've been there for me to help me and to give me guidance and to give me support and have come to me for guidance and support. Uh, I really feel a sense of community with all the people that are working together to make the world a better place and to create the freedom they want by creating their own business. So thank you for being there and doing that and giving me inspiration. The other thing I want to challenge you to do today, if you're still listening to this, thank you. I appreciate that. I want to challenge you to start looking at your, your own obstacles, your own challenges, your own symptoms, and becoming grateful for them. Now, I was at a coaching call last night with a client, and we were talking about his experience of having challenges with food, body, and weight. And we were going through, and we were digging for all the reasons why his Behavior that seems crazy on the outside completely makes sense. Looking at all the ways it served us, did it get us attention, did it get us love, did it get us approval, did it keep us safe by giving us distance from the people around us? There's a million reasons why the thing you think is the biggest challenge and obstacle or pain point in your life actually makes sense. Can we have gratitude for the part of you that created that challenge that's allowing you to keep yourself protected and now ultimately, now that you're looking at changing it, allowing you to grow. At the end of the day, that's what Drop the Armor is about. It's identifying the things that we've done to, and created as protection mechanisms that kept us safe, kept us alive, got us what we wanted, served our emotional and mental needs throughout our life. But now they're getting in the way. and We have to look at them and become proud of them and appreciate them, even if we don't accept them to move forward and to drop that armor and to really begin to transform. So on this day of thanks, on this day of gratitude, I want to challenge you to be grateful for all the problems and challenges in your life. For me, I say every day, the best thing that ever happened to me was growing up obese. The next best thing that ever happened to me was having an early marriage that didn't work out, that failed and essentially forced me to start looking at myself and how I interact with the world. And now I've created this business and that would never have happened if I didn't start to lose passion and lose the performance that I once had in my last career in retail. So thank all of the challenges and obstacles you have. They're here to teach you. They're here to get you to a place in life that's well beyond where you are and where you thought you were or where you thought you wanted to be. So that's my message for you on this Thanksgiving. With gratitude, with love, with joy, with appreciation, with great sense of groundedness and peace and 
and empowerment and love. Again, uh, peace. I'm out. Enjoy the day. Have a great meal. Let loose a little bit. Eat all the pumpkin pie you want. <laughs> um, you know, get get back in shape. Make up for it next week. But today, enjoy your experience of pleasure from your meal. Enjoy your family and whoever you're with. Peace. Until next time, I'm out.